Part 4. Sabotage. Bernie does another CNN town hall. Okay, so I might have said there's I was going to do a trilogy of videos. Turns out there's more material than I thought. So this is my fourth video and my final video on Bernie's town hall. So we have two questions left. Let's get to them. Okay, quote. You've been an outspoken critic of Benjamin Netanyahu, and Israel is one of our biggest allies in the world. Given that Netanyahu just won another term in office, how do you plan to maintain strong international relations with him despite your critiques? End quote. Okay, so Bernie replies, number one, I am not anti-Israel. He just flat out said it. Uh, he talked about time he spent in Israel when he was a young man. Uh, he said he has family in Israel, he's worked in Israel, and he's ultimately pro-Israel. Okay. Next, I believe that Netanyahu is treating the Palestinians very unfairly. Rousing applause line, and I'm glad because a lot of people, a lot of politicians in America do not recognize the Palestinians because they're so overtly concerned with the Israeli ties we have and how we have to always be serving them. They're our number one ally, and we just can't have politicians speaking out for the poor Palestinians. Well, Bernie said the Palestinians are being treated very unfairly. And if you don't know this, the last president to come out as pro-Palestinian was Jimmy Carter. So... In my lifetime, I've never seen any pro-Palestinian presidents. So, he would be a very pro-Palestinian president. Moving on. Um, he said we should deal with the Middle East on a very level playing field. He said a lot of stuff that was just middle of the road. And once again, he does have a weak spot for foreign policy, so he keeps it kind of vague sometimes. Uh, and he said, you know, the goal must be to keep people together, work together, you know, this very plain language. It's, 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 it's very neutral language. It's very, it's very vague. And like, he's, like he said in the, a few questions ago, he said, I know I need some work on my foreign policy. So at least he owns up to it. And once again, he said, I'm pro-Israel. <laughs> he has to keep stating it. Uh, he also said, Israel has every right to exist and to exist in peace and security. But we must also deal and work with the Palestinian people as well. So, once again, a lot of American politicians don't go there. They don't address the Palestinians because they're so pro-Israel and we're so overtly concerned. So it's nice to hear Bernie, a senator, a sitting senator, say that about the Palestinians. And as president, he would definitely work for peace for both. So that's that question there. And finally, last question, topic was mass shootings. Um, the question, quote, with mass shootings becoming more rampant in this country, what is your stance of putting armed guards or heightened police presences inside of schools, end quote? Flat out, Bernie says, I'm against it. Um, and then he went into like uh, a bunch of side rants. Um, I think he eventually got back to it, but I'll just tell you what he said. Uh, he said, quote, we need uh, fundamental reform in our criminal justice system. He also said, uh, we have more people in jail uh, than any other country on earth. These are some of his familiar talking points. Uh, you know, we talk about ending the war on drugs, expunging uh, marijuana arrest records. Uh, and he also talked about police department reform. Uh, maybe I haven't caught, maybe he's, maybe he does talk about it a lot. Maybe I haven't caught it, but I never seem to catch him talking about this. But he talked about, uh, you know, like right now, police spend most of their time training police to kill uh, and less time on uh, de-escalation measures, which like if you see over in Britain, it's all de-escalation. They'll do everything in their power to not draw their firearm, while in America, it's literally the first thing police will do. <laughs> uh, so it's like there has to be a different uh, mindset of, of training when it comes to the police department reform, he addressed that. And like I said, lethal force should be the last response, not the first response. So he touched on issues like that. But he said, I'm against, uh, you know, putting a police presence in schools and having armed guards. So that was the last question. Thanks for uh, sticking through. If you made it through all four videos, I really appreciate you being here. 
Uh, and if you like the content, uh, make sure you share, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and click the bell on the side because they unsubscribe people every single day. It sounds stupid, but they actually do do that. So let me know what you think down below.